I want to talk about this. You have an upcoming, because I'm excited about it. You've been talking about it for a while, and you talk about yourself a lot. Yeah. It's an upcoming Hulu series with uh, the great Steve Martin. Yes. And, um, it's and, the and the great Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez is yes. on the show. Yeah. Uh, and, and I know that you, you work a lot with Steve Martin. How's this project going? It, it's, it's called Only Murders in the Building. Mm -hmm. And it's a cross between The Odd Couple and Dateline. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's We've a been murder, waiting for that one. It's a, it's a murder mystery. Uh -huh. uh, it, it, it drops, as the kids say, um, <laughs> August 31. And uh, very much like Steve Martin at the urinal, it streams for 36 hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very. Selena was, it was so fat, you know, she. She was very embarrassed. The first day uh, of shooting, she made a horrible faux pas. She went up to Steve and said, I'm such a big fan, Judy Dench. And so, <laughs> you know. But you then they bonded, you know, because when Steve gets talking about banjo playing techniques, you know, we're all just riveted. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> here. You're going, uh, I mean, you do this incredible road show. Obviously, everything had to shut down uh, for the pandemic, but you do this amazing show. Which you with, have guested on. Which I guested on, yeah. a highlight for you guys. And it was, uh, <laughs> I have to just insert these things for the transcript later. Uh, and, um, and anyway, uh, you and Steve Martin work together and just the way you go after Steve, you go after each other with insults, but it's absolutely delightful. It's one of the funniest shows I've ever seen. Oh, uh, thank you, it's great. You know, Steve is endlessly creative. He's always writing, he, he never gets any writer's block, as much as we pray for it, he doesn't. And, <laughs> and he's one of the most sensitive, you know, people, you know, in the world that mm -hmm. you would meet. I mean, you, you can't, you know, it, what's amazing about Steve, and this is true, and he'd be embarrassed if I said that, said this, but every time we go to a restaurant, he knows the first name of the waitress. Oh. Doesn't matter what restaurant we are. And what's amazing is that, A, he knows their name, and B, that they're all named Dollface. So I think. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is one of the funniest guys. You know, when I, before I met Steve, I just bring this up because this is how brilliantly funny and original he's been his whole life. I remember it was like 1980, I never met him, uh, and I'm watching television at the Grammys, and he presents the best comedy album of the year, and he comes out in full tuxedo, tails, and no pants. Boxer <laughs> underwear, garters, socks, uh -huh. and he doesn't mention it, and he just starts, and the nominations are, <laughs> and he starts reading it, and finally, a little man with a pair of pants comes running out on a hanger, and Steve looks at him and says, well, it's about time. <laughs> genius. The man's a genius. He's a genius. Uh, yeah. I want to congratulate you on a human note. You are a grandfather, and uh, this is very exciting news. I mean, yes, how my do you son like... Oliver's out there. Is he... Oliver's here. Where are you, Ollie? There you are. He does not want to Oliver... be seen. Well, Oliver he, he wanted he... to sit as far away from you I as know. possible. No, no, I have a 17-month-old a grandson, Theodore, and uh, Ollie and his beautiful wife, Alyssa, are expecting this July their second son. That's exciting. And my son, Henry, is expecting his first son in September. I'll have three boys under two. And it's, and it's great to hear the little pitter-patter of little feet. You know, it's like when David Spade comes over. <laughs> <you know? laughs> 